Welcome to a, another Game of Thrones video. Here we have a behind the scenes look at some of the production staff who are producing this amazing show for us. Now normally I would post the trailer that I am breaking down before the video. You can see it here but it's not really that relevant because I'm going to be discussing some of the actual screen grabs from the trailer and not really the trailer as a whole as the trailer is like five minutes but I will link it in the description below. So shall we jump in and look at some of the breakdown and some of the very very interesting footage such as flashbacks are they confirmed so let's jump in so if you'll cast your mind back to the last season at the end we have Daenerys Targaryen left amongst a hell of a lot of Dothraki well what's happening there well I think we're going to be able to look at Ve Dothrak more and actually get to know the Dothraki themselves because I think she can actually speak a lot more of the language now as opposed to when she was with Carl Drogo, rest in peace, retweet if you cry every time. So that's going to be very, very interesting. Here we've got Jamie Lannister, presumably on his way back to Westeros with his sadly deceased daughter, which is kind of obvious that's going to happen. She will be laid in state at the Great Sept. And, well, that's it for him, really. We probably will see him on a journey of redemption, I expect. So here you can see things are getting very, very, very interesting because you can see some of the Stark's leather armour in the soldiers behind the filming rig here at the forefront. And also at the back, if you can make it out near the three guys, there is actually a Stark banner. What's that doing here? Very weird because we haven't seen them for quite a while. Is Jon Snow going to come back and take the Stark name? Will he be Jon Stark? Well, that would be very, very cool, wouldn't it? So, we'll just have to watch and find out. And now the plot thickens even more like a very, very thick thing. Because we have some children play fighting, or probably training for the coming battles, in Winterfell with Stark banners around them. Now, this is, this is getting weirder because I think we are going to have flashbacks here. Quite a lot of them. Considering we had that other trailer, which pretty much hinted at it as well. And let us know that everyone could die, which, well, we know it's, it's Game of Thrones. Everyone dies, pretty much. <laughs> but here, what is going on? Uh, it does look like maybe it could be Ned Stark... And Robert Baratheon, perhaps, as a child? Or I would probably make the case for it be Bran Stark. Or one of the other Stark children when they were younger. So we've got Dario and Jorah Mormont, the king of the friend zone once again. Together, are we going to get a buddy cop drama with the two? No, probably not. Not ever, ever, ever. Unfortunately, that'd be pretty sick. But we have those two probably trying to find their bay Daenerys. So what's going to happen here? This could be very cool because I liked the storyline of Jorah trying to get her affection again or her attention, Senpai please, yet to be just brought down again, which would be pretty cool. But anyway, I'm looking forward to see what's actually happening with this Daenerys storyline. So lastly, we have got Jack and Hagar doing his thing once again, cleaning a body and this shows the process of him actually taking the face off, which is going to be cool because we're probably going to see more of Arya and her dealing with actually losing her sight, which will be a very strong story arc for the girl. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like and subscribe if you want to see some more Game of Thrones content. Goodbye.